YouTube. Today we are off on a solo sup adventure. I strapped my sup to the roof of the truck. We stopped at Walmart and grabbed some snacks. And <laughs> we are headed to the water right now. It is so beautiful outside. It's gonna be a good day. So there you have sup on truck. Now I'm going to set the camera up on this little picnic table and try to self film. I don't have a tripod. Um, worst YouTuber in the world award, but let's try. Yeah, that'll work. Oh my god, I'm like literally shaking. I'm so excited right now. This is incredible. So I'm on my Vibe Sup for the first time ever. And it is so much more stable than my little blow up Sup that I was trying to use last year. And to be fair, this costs probably three times the amount that that blow up Sup did, but uh hello like i cannot wait to start fishing i feel sturdy i feel good Ooh, fish be feeding ahead <laughs> okay i need to put down the camera and start fishing because holy sh okay hold on uh okay bye So this is the fly that I put on. This is one that I tied. It's a deceiver in chartreuse and white. Ooh. What I'm working on now is getting myself into the position to sort of flow with the current into the mangrove. I've been fighting it a lot, so I paddled way further and now I'm gonna let the current take me kind of like it is right now. My sub has been just flowing in the current as I'm fishing, which is great, but I haven't had anything bite my fly yet. I feel like it isn't sitting low enough in the water column. Um, it's supposed to be a streamer and it's kind of uh, it's sitting a little bit closer to the top than I wanted it to. So I might swap out to the trusty old Schmino, uh, see if that helps and keep on fishing. So 
I don't think I had the camera recording, but I did get a hit. And there was another fish that jumped right in here. So we are in them, or at least near them. Keep trying. Fish, jump ahead. Off we go. Not too fast though. Don't want to make too much noise. calling it quits for the day. I, oh, I'm going into some mangroves. <laughs> Pause. So lessons learned from today. Uh, my chartreuse and white deceiver did not get any hits. My all white schmino did get a hit. I saw fish jumping. I'm gonna have to do some research and talk to some people and figure out what exactly I was seeing. In terms of timing, today was low wind. I think I hit the current right. From the research that I've done, you are supposed to fish whenever the current is its fastest, AKA between tides, when the tides are changing, you know? So that's what I tried to do. I don't know if I actually did, I have to, like look back to make sure that I was reading the chart right. But the reason being is because I'm targeting snook and snook feed and use the current to their advantage. So that's the thought process behind all of that. Uh, otherwise, some other notes, I do have some like initial feedback on the SUP, which I might film a video just about my new setup because it is freaking awesome. But there were a couple things that like I'm learning and I don't know, some things I'm figuring out with that. So I'll share those with you at a later time. What else? Getting the SUP on and off of the vehicle, so easy by myself. Like I got that down, no problem. Just overall a really fun, exciting day. It just makes my heart feel so full to be out here like this. Um, areas like this in Florida are so special. They are relatively hard to come by and yeah, I don't know. Just natural Florida continues to amaze me so much. But that is it, YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching, so much for following along on this adventure. I hope by the end of my time here in Florida, I am catching fish for you. But honestly, I'm pretty stoked that I just missed one. Like, that's awesome. It means that I had a chance, you know? Um, yeah, the whole thing is just a lot of fun for me. So thank you as always for following along and um, I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for you all. So thank you. I will see you, hands on the wheels, in the next one.